What's up guys? It's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together and today I am giving you a home haul and a shop with me all over Chicago. I'm Marissa. I'm a borderline crazy dog mom, a landlord, a DIYer, an interior design obsessed pop culture enthusiast, a real estate entrepreneur, and I'm simultaneously managing a long distance relationship while working full time. I'm the kind of woman who doesn't have the patience to get through this recording. So let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. I am here at Target um, because I have a doctor's appointment around the corner and I wanted to stop and see if they have anything from the new Studio McGee line here that I can check out in person. Y'all, she is dressed like Cher from Clueless. This is quite pathetic, you guys. Chicago and do not play when it comes to Target. Okay, you guys, they do have a little bit more stuff. Here is the benches. I actually really like them. I'm surprised. Couple pillows, couple throws. Here's your girl. What's up, y'all? These are $69.99 each. I actually think it's a great deal. I'm thinking about getting them, to be honest with you. Now, I wanna show you this olive plant in this vase. This looks super cheap in person. Do not buy this online. You will be disappointed. It looks very cheap. Let's see if we can find the price. $25. Yeah, I'm a pass on that. Things I will be getting from our girl Joanna is the soap and the counter spray in the amber bottles. I'm impressed how high end this looks in real life. You can't be in the proximity of a home goods and not stop in just to see. Come on, let's go see what they got. What is this? What is, what is, what is this? $19.99? <sighs> I thought I tapped out. Didn't I tap out of crystals? Guys, this is interessant. I think I'm going to pass on it, but I like it for you. Also, what's this? This is light. Cool. They have two of them. Two of these cuties. And let's look at, oh, Rachel, Roy, Becky with the good hair. You feel me? $12.99. Who is this? My nephew would like this one. Thir That's a goddamn shame. That is way overpriced. $39.99. I don't think so. Okay, you guys, this is interessant because I could spray this another color. Me like it, me like it. What do I see that? I don't know, what do you think? Why the heck was I just called ma'am? I am a young lady. Okay, I still have acne. You can't be a ma'am if you have acne. I am feeling good, pillow vibes. Do you think they have my pillow? I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. What's this story? $19.99, you guys, that's cuteness. It's black and white, FYI. I also like these. Do you think they are downfilled? Choppable? No, that ain't choppable. If it ain't down, we don't want anything to do with it. You guys, I wouldn't normally come into this aisle, but I love these. Look at these baskets, very cute. Don't need them, or maybe I don't. I might need them, but I'm gonna wait till I get into the house to see what I need. Per my point in my McGee & Co video, this basket is so cute, it's really big. It's got the leather handles, and look, made in Vietnam, $19.99. Studio McGee would charge you 75 bucks for that at Target, and 225 on their website, just saying. Wish, wish, wish I needed this. I don't even know what the price is, it doesn't say. But I can tell you it's a good price. Now this is glass, not acrylic, but that's dope as hell. This witch with a B made me jump out of my damn skin. These are huge, so I gotta smell them to see if they're any good. So this first one is patchouli. Let's see. I don't hate it, how much? $16.99, that's a big ass candle. I like that. And then bergamot. Mmm, that smells good. Y'all, this isn't dissimilar from 
the McGee and Co. one. And this is $9.99 instead of $50, bucks. just saying. Okay, next I was in the area, so I thought I would stop at Salvation Army Family Store and see if they had anything noteworthy. I could spray these, but I don't think so. $29.99. Love this piece, campaign piece. Oh, it's damaged. That's gonna be a no. $85 for this, they are crazy. What is these? Guys, I just left um, Salvation Army. Wanna know my conclusion? I don't know what the f I'm not gonna swear, cause this is YouTube, but I don't know what they are thinking with their pricing. They are out of their minds. Who's gonna pay that? It ain't me, I ain't the one. This has turned into a full shop with me. I am now going to TJ Maxx because it's on the way home, right? Ish. If I took the long route, it was on the way home. This is exciting. Their home stuff has exploded into what is normally, I don't know, dresses or something. Maybe we'll find some good stuff. Please tell me why you would keep your lint. Isn't it something you would throw away? You guys remember a few minutes ago when I was like full of hope? Like this could be a fruitful adventure? It ain't. It's literally the opposite. They don't have anything here. So, bummer. This is a good find. A Marble Lazy Susan, 1999. I found another one. I don't know why I feel like I need another one, but I do feel like I need another one. Cocktail table marble top, $39.99. These are cute as an alternative to laundry baskets and they're $16.99. But the only other sites is they have our little smaller, which are $14.99. If they had multiple of these, I would get two of them for laundry baskets. More phallic selenite, but I like this one. $16.99. Pass. The other one was $7.99. Isn't it funny how pricing changes from store to store, even though they're the same parent company? I like this, you guys. $19.99, I think that's a good price. I like that. You guys, I love this pillow, but I, I don't know that I should do something this extreme in my room, but I like it for somebody else who's a little more boho than me. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a cumulative home haul of the shopping that you saw me do earlier. But first, I wanna share with you guys all of the awesome things that I've gotten from Amazon lately. Some, Most of it, I would say, is home decor, but some of it is some other stuff. So let me start with this uh, multi-USB and wall plug. This is just like a silly thing. Um, this was only $12.99, which comparatively to other ones on the market is super inexpensive. I was being cheap when I bought this, um, but I recently went from changing my bedside lamps to one with a USB to one without it. So I found myself in need of more USB plugs by my bedside. And now I have my Kindle, my Apple Watch, and my phone all being able to be charged right next to me at the same time. So, and then, oh, the reason I got this one as well is because it has this little ledge so if it's plugged in the wall, if you wanted to, you could just sort of like lean your phone there and it would be safe there as well. So this is just a random thing I got from Amazon. Also, a couple other random things I got on Amazon is I know we all use reusable straws and I got this small pack of four stainless steel reusable straws. Um, two of them are like bent and two of them are straight like this. I got this pack because it was the least expensive and it came with the straw cleaner, which I was in desperate need of to get all my smoothie straws clean. Um, funny thing about this is it being stainless steel, I drink like a lot of iced matchas and smoothies. It gets like really cold when you're drinking from it. So if that bothers you, stainless steel is not a good option. But if you guys are interested in these, these are the least expensive ones they found on Amazon. So I will link those below if you're looking for new sort of aesthetically pleasing straws. And then also, oh, per my iced matcha, I just got this in the mail today. You can see I've opened it. This is the David's Tea... Sorry, I don't know if it's focusing. This is the David's Tea Vanilla Matcha Powder, or it's called, yeah, Vanilla Matcha. It's super good. I had an iced matcha with it this morning and I'm gonna have another one probably after I'm done filming. 
Do not try to record a video on a Sunday with your family home, especially in a hundred year old house. Just saying. Next thing I'm gonna share with you, I don't think I shared in my restoration hardware inspired home haul. Um, well, I know I shared the bowl, but I don't know if I shared the moss. So this is the cement planter that I got um, from Marshall's for only $8, which is the most insane deal ever. And then what I did is I found on Amazon, and I'm gonna link them below for you because you guys are gonna want these because this is a huge dupe and it was so easy. Um, it's like a circular sheet of moss. And I want to say three of them come in a pack for $8, which is a crazy good deal. And the way that I got this sort of domed look is it's actually like funny and embarrassing. <laughs> you guys, I needed something to stuff down here to give this shape. And I was getting scrappy and impatient because your girl's barely keeping it together. She doesn't have the patience. I took one of my dog's old toys that was falling apart. It's a, he is an, he has these octo, octopi. We have a lot of them. And one of them was ripped up. I literally took the stuffed animal, stuffed it down here, took this circular moss and like molded it around it. And I got the best, most restoration hardware inspire, inspired moss cement bowl. And I'm obsessed with it. You guys have to get this moss if you're doing any sort of, you just have to have it. So I'll link it below. This was an unbelievable find. So let's get into what I actually bought when I was out shopping with you um, at Target, Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, which wasn't a lot. Um, so you guys did see I picked up the um, Hearth and Hand Juniper products. I have already used this hand soap. I have the hand soap and the dish soap in my kitchen at the sink, which is perfect um, for staging. I will link that um, video, the staging video, if you're interested in any of my home decor staging for selling your house tricks. I'll link that video here for you if that's of interest to you. And then I got the counter spray. So now I have a counter spray that's super easy to use, you know, as you're doing the dishes and don't have to put it away. If you guys have kids, having an aesthetically pleasing counter spray is huge because one, kids are messy as hell. And my nephew is constantly making the kitchen a total mess. And we use the kitchen all the time because of him. And then two, if all of your cabinets are child locked, the ways are the way ours are, um, having a kitchen counter spray, just like handy, just makes life so much easier. And it's so much like, it's just like a thousand times easier to keep your house clean. If you have a counter spray out, but you want it to look pleasing. So I recommend this, um, from, What's the name of her collection? Hearth and Hand. I want to call it Magnolia Home, but that's her a uh, little bit more expensive line. So definitely recommend this. I will say, um, and I'll link both of these below. I like the juniper smell. I will say it smells a little like Christmas. If you don't want Christmas, get pomelo. But um, I will say for a counter spray, which your girl thinks should be like $3.99, this is like $6.99. So I might be refilling this with something cheaper when I'm done actually using this product because I think it's a little overpriced, okay? But I like it. Okay, I have one more thing to share with you and I'm so excited. Do you guys recognize this? This is the pedestal bowl that I found at Home Goods, and your girl got down with a little spray paint. Um, so I had gray spray paint at home so I just made this so much more neutral and I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that it looks. Now I will say like one of the ideas I'm having and I'm, I might not be done with this. You'll see, you will learn the projects are ever evolving. That might change colors. This might change colors. Things change around here. But one of the things I'm thinking about doing is like a dip. Leave me a comment below. Do you think I should do this? I'm thinking about doing a dip where I like texture from here down in like one of the like stone or textured spray paint just to add a little zhuzh of something. And FYI, I did gray because I had a lot of extra gray spray paint at home. And again, I don't have the patience to wait for something new. Um, I think it would have looked really good in a black. I was thinking about doing black with black texture. That would be sexy. Okay. And also, if you guys think I should texture it, let me know if I should do another shade of gray texture, something different or a black texture with the gray up here. Like, let me know, what do you think I should do? Or should I not do that at all? Also, I wanna acknowledge that all other pedestal bowls, Jess J, love you girl, 
Um, she got a pedestal bowl at Home Goods. I thought, oh my God, it was gorgeous. And she, I think she did her, I can't remember if hers came the color that she kept it or not. She used a matte spray paint on something that was dope. And I plan on using that sometime soon too. But, um, she got an awesome pedestal bowl and most people's pedestal bowls are like, this is how long the pedestal is. It's not this long. So I acknowledge that the neck of my pedestal is super high and I'm waiting to see how I'm going to style it. I don't, I don't have an answer for you. I might do the moss. I might do something different. I might have crystals. I might have doodads. I'm not sure. Let your girl play with it and I'll get back to you on how I style this. But yeah, this is the pedestal bowl that was pink and that definitely would not have gone with my home decor. So we did gray. We may change it up. Let me know. Seriously, tell me what you think I should do with it. As I'm getting closer and closer to the move, I'm trying to buy less and less stuff because why would I pay to pay a mover to move it for me? Like I'll just, you know, buy stuff when I get there and then I'll see what I need as well. Because also as I'm packing, my house is looking like a home decor store. Like I'm getting things ready to pack and I'm like, why do I have so much stuff? Anyway, so that's TMI for you guys. But Oh, I forgot one other Amazon thing that I got because I just felt it on my leg. <laughs> Your girl is barely keeping it together. And that's not like, I mean, it's a play on words, but it's not fake. I really am barely keeping it together. Um, this is a suggestion from Arvin Alano. This is the electric USB charger um, lighter. And so you don't have to like buy those big things, have the matches, all the things, and you just recharge it and use it. Arvin recommended this greatly. So I did go ahead and buy it. It is, you know, a little more aesthetically pleasing. You can have it out, et cetera, et cetera. I think it's great. It lights your candles super fast. I will also link it below. So in case you guys are interested in this, it's super inexpensive and, you know, it's reusable. So you'll never run out of it. I will say one negative thing about it. And I'm curious <laughs> if Arvin has the same experience or not. So it makes a noise. Let me see if I'll play it for you. And I'm sorry if it bothers you. When you do it, did you guys hear that? My dog is terrified of this noise. He, I mean, he's terrified of everything because he is pretty pathetic, but um, he hates the noise. So I have to try to light the candles when he's not in the room. Oh my God. Um, I don't know if it plays something like louder in his doggy ears than my ears, but he does not like that sound. But otherwise I highly recommend that product. So anyways, that is everything I got that I wanted to share with you today. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should do with the pedestal bowl and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. So I would love for you guys to stick around for more videos and I will chat with you later. Bye.